Hey what is up guys, as a finance creator slash investor myself, I am always on the outlook to look for ways to encourage people in our community to start investing and start taking charge of their finances and hopefully lead a better life as a result. A lot of people that I know in my life have not started investing even though they are in their mid 20s and late 30s. And if you are an investor yourself, I'm sure you must have convinced someone in your life to invest with you. But we all know how it ended up. So in this video, I want to try something different. Instead of me trying to tell people that investing is crucial and life-changing and important and whatnot, why not I present the reasons why some other people invest so that they can judge for themselves and hopefully decide for themselves. This video was actually an idea that I got when I was surfing through the investing subreddit, which made me stumble upon this thread. What's the reason you invest? This guy was curious on what's the reason people invest. Is it making an income from the stock market? Or is it building a portfolio for retirement purposes? Or is it to achieve a certain goal that you have in mind? I know people will say that investing is to beat inflation, make money, get rich, and at the end of the day, retire with a huge pile of cash because of compounding interest and whatnot. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But personally, I think there is more to investing, but more on that later. Uh, no pun intended, but let's jump back into the thread. Looking at the reply, I must say that Reddit never disappoints. The first one we have here is, so I don't have to slave at work, to subsidize my slaving at work. And some say that, so that I don't work on schedule. I love to be, on a Tuesday, be like, nah, I'm not working today. And no one gives me shit about it. So what I can understand from here is that there is a group of people that is investing so that they can escape the 9 to 6 earlier and attain financial independence earlier to do whatever they want in life. That's fair to me. I mean, our time on earth is limited. Do you really want to forego the reason why you started work in the first place? No surprise, you work to earn an income so that you can cover all of your basic expenses and survive in the society. Maybe lead a better quality of life and perhaps work on that one childhood dream that you have always wanted to before money even comes into play. Look, anyone that says working in 9 to 6 is not for the money, for learning purposes, kononya, are most likely lying. But of course, unless they are enjoying what they are doing, then that's a totally different story. Regardless, don't get married to your job. Look around in your workspaces and see if there is anyone that you aspire to be. If there's not, then it's probably a good time to think twice. Moving on, second reply that we got here is to try and build generational wealth so I, nor my future children, have to work our life away. Okay, I have a different view on this. To me, this is like living for our children. And I kid you not, I know people in my real life that have a huge and stable monthly income but they are effectively living for their children. They save very hard, they invest very hard, all for their kids and they leave nothing for themselves. I know this is a personal preference and I totally respect that. But to me, I think there should be a boundary separating between safeguarding the future of our children versus treating yourselves for all the hard work that you have done. Also, if we put things into perspectives, we are effectively spoon feeding our children and our next generation and they wouldn't be able to learn the necessary skill to survive and thrive, right? I don't know, maybe I'm not a parent yet, but if you're a parent, why don't you let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this? Moving on, we have another comment. My CD paid 0.3% interest. I think I can do better myself. CD stands for Certificate of Deposit, which is the fixed deposit for us. Another person said the alternative would be hoarding cash, but cash is constantly losing value to inflation. So the only option is to invest. And this is a valid point of argument, especially if you look at Malaysia's Consumer Price Index, CPI, which rose 4.7% year over year. It means our consumer goods are getting pricier by 4.7% over one year. Wait, there's more. If you look at Maybank and CMB's fixed deposit rate, even the longest tenure of 60 months goes up to a maximum of 2.1% per annum. What about the popular money market fund, Stash Away Simple? They are offering up to 2.4% per annum. Not bad all things considered, but still not good enough to beat the 4.7% inflation. Still don't buy my argument? Look at our EPF, 5.2% of dividend on our retirement account. Or the popular Amana Saham Bumi Putra ASB, it's also 3.75% only. I mean, they are not bad, but if your income is not increasing year over year, you are effectively losing your buying power 
or in layman's term, getting poorer. I know this doesn't sound alarming to a lot of people because inflation and currency depreciation happens in the background which is more so the reason why more people need to get hold of this information. Anyways, let's move on shall we? The next comment say that I like when numbers go up. The colour green makes me feel good. Now in hindsight, this sounds like a stupid comment, but actually this is closely related to how our human brain is wired. We thrive on dopamine. If you don't know what that is, imagine when you get what you wanted, or you receive a piece of good news. Your body produces this chemical called dopamine that tells your brain that you are feeling good. And if you put things into perspective, everything that we do in our life, whatever that is, is to get that dose of dopamine. When you play your favourite games, eat your favourite food, buy your favourite tech gadget, get praised by your superior, or enjoying your vacation, you are effectively getting hit by that dose of dopamine. And similarly, drug addicts also use drugs to get that dose of dopamine to feel high to feel painless because of depression or poverty and whatnot. Drugs make them feel good instantaneously. So that's it. If we can turn investing into a way to put our money at work without taking the risk of gambling, I think it is a much better alternative which keeps you occupied and at the same time helps you create more wealth. I spend hours every day reading finance articles and discussions on forums. And if I'm rewarded by the stock market when some of my stocks go to the moon, I felt good, I get that dose of dopamine. And I think that is a good way to keep ourselves grounded and turn us away from all those high risk investments and activities, right? With that said, I'm not all saint and angel. I also allocate like a small percentage of 3 to 5% in my portfolio for speculative investments, just for a little bit of fun, you know? But I can tell you more often the time, the payoff is really not worth the anxiety. Sometimes boring is really the better way to invest. Try to put your time to learn new skills for yourself instead. That way, your time is better spent compared to staring at the stock prices. Which, let me be honest with you, that will not do anything. Not like you can move the stock price, right? And this guy sums up my point perfectly. If your day-to-day -day life depends on stock market, it's impossible for you to make rational decisions continuously. Long-term investors succeed because they have invested money that they don't need for decades at best. So if you have not invested or you are into speculative investments, I hope you get the point. That's it. After going through those comments, I can tell you that I totally agree for the most part of them, such as to beat inflation, to build generational wealth, to attain financial freedom, totally valid points. And for what it's worth, on top of those reasons, I would also like to share with you the reasons why I invest. Reason number one, I want to have a fund that I can withdraw from time to time whenever I like it to upgrade my life. For example, to renovate my home, or withdrawing for family vacations, soul searching, or withdrawing to fund my kids' education, or withdrawing to splurge on things that I want to buy at a point of time without thinking twice. I think that's the goal, right? Being able to purchase anything that you want at any point of time without the need of delayed gratification. Yeah, lame. Reason number two, I invest so that I can realize my dream without the financial burden. I have a dream to travel around the world, make mind-blowing cinematic documentaries that can inspire people, and probably generate a stream of income out of it, all while knowing that everything is well taken care of. I don't want to retire just for the sake of resting. To me, that is a waste of life and honestly, it's meaningless. I would still work hard even though I have attained financial independence in the future. Anyways, wrapping up this video, why don't you share with me or the people down below for the reason why you started investing. It can be for retirement, goal-based savings or whatever that is. Let us know down below why you started investing or plan to invest in case you haven't invested already. There's nothing wrong to that. I think it would be very helpful for those people that are still on the fence or just afraid of the stock market. Hopefully this video plus your comments can enlighten them and give them more perspectives. That's it, help me share this video if you would like to help me in my mission to create more awareness towards investing because I think we need to put more active solutions to solve this issue. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe, stay invested and as usual, I will see you in the next one.